Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Well, Chad and I waited in line, so did Jammer B, so did, uh, who else was in the line? Je uh, uh, there was Greg. Greg uh, was Jeff there. Jeff Needles was there. Needles was there. We and had a Glenn. big group. Uh, Glenn was there, too, yeah. yeah. Everybody wanted the new iPhone, and it was interesting, when we canvassed our staff, everybody wanted the big new iPhone. Absolutely. So this is it. This is the 6 and the 6 Plus. These are the new iPhones from Apple, available for sale uh, at Apple stores, but at also all the carriers in the U.S., Sprint, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and a few of the smaller carriers as well. You'll also find it internationally uh, now in, uh, I think, 13 countries or maybe even more and more all the time, soon to be uh, China and all over the world. These are easily the, you know, the hottest, most awaited phones in the U.S., and you could tell by those long, long lines. So my review, having now, oh, I admittedly, only got it on Friday. I didn't get an advanced copy like some people uh first of all even i think even if you look on tv this is the uh, iphone 6 the 4.7 inch screen it it's so thin and so beautiful these are easily the most elegant beautiful phones apple's ever made and i think probably the most elegant and beautiful phones on the market today they've really done a stellar job we've heard i mean they're going to be fragile all phones all smartphones are fragile this is not sapphire we think it's probably gorilla glass three and yes they do crack we've seen people crack them already but what phone doesn't we've even seen reports that some of them probably more likely the big six plus will bend in your pocket well are you surprised look at that it's so thin so you're going to want to be careful with these probably get an otter box case if you're a fumble fingers but that's always been true of iphones and it's no less true now i fix it does report that these are a little bit more fixable, that the screen comes off a little bit more easily, so there will be an aftermarket third-party screen replacement people and so forth. Uh, as you would expect, it is, you know, the kind of the state-of-the-art in iOS. The fingerprint reader, the Touch ID, as Apple calls it, works spectacularly well. I've trained it, for instance, uh, so that I can use the uh, iPhone in my right hand and just tap the thumb thumbprint ID with my thumb, the Touch ID with my thumb, and it opens up right away. You can also use it to make uh, Apple Store purchases and iTunes uh, Store purchases. And as you know, with e with Apple Pay, their electronic tap to pay, uh, soon you'll be able to use the, th the fingerprint to actually make purchases in the store because, yes, Apple has finally included NFC, the near-field communication chips, in their phone. That's a chip that's been in many other phones but now that Apple's doing it, I expect to see it in use more often. Uh, Apple Pay will debut next month. It's not available. And you really can't use the NFC chip right now for anything else. Best cameras on the market. Uh, in fact, uh, we're starting to see reviews come in. I've seen a lot of the uh, reviews, and I've seen a lot of the images. And, yep, Apple's done it again. Still 8 megapixels, but they've improved the quality of the camera. The software behind it is uh, superb. The dual-tone flash means that flashes look better because they're color balanced for the environment you're in and you may not even need the flash both phones do a lot of trickery to get excellent low light photography and especially the iphone 6 plus which has an optic optic image stabilizer in it apple also made a big deal about the phase focusing built into the sensor chip on this phone and indeed it focuses very quickly the super slow-mo video is superb and gorgeous so they've really made a phone with a camera that is second to none. In fact, I think I would say this is still the best camera on the market today. That's, that's pretty impressive considering uh, Apple hasn't upped the number of pixels, but they've made major improvements in so many areas that this is just a fantastic camera, despite the uh, immense amount of competition uh, for that title. Um, iOS 8 has some very nice new features I think you'll like a lot, including the new notification system. Now, of course, if you have an older iPhone, you can still get iOS 8 uh, on your, uh, on your uh, uh, 5S or your 5 or even your 4S, uh, but it really sings on this, partly because this phone has the new A8 chip. Here's uh, Kevin Rose's slow-mo of a Tony Hawk event. This is the 240 frames uh, per second slow-mo, so that is, what, one a quarter speed. Yeah. And it just is fantastic. Play that again, Brian. It starts at full speed and then slows down, although... <laughs> this is mind-blowing. It's done me. in metadata, so you can actually edit it and have any portion of the entire video be slow-mo or not. So that's really nice after uh, the fact control. Apple's iOS 8 means also it's easier to share videos and pictures with people. Uh, they've added additional sharing features 
they, I think they've really done a nice job. Look at that. That is spectacular. And that's with a phone. That's just, uh, it, that blows my mind. I mean, I remember yeah. trying to get like 60 frames high right. speed off of like actual film cameras. And it's remember, so it's, a, difficult. it's a very competitive market. Samsung phones have super slow mo. There, there are a lot of phones out there with the, with these kinds of capabilities. This is, in many degree, in many cases, Apple's just playing catch up with the market today. Uh, yet it's really well done. The the six. Uh, Plus, which is a five and a half inch screen, has some additional features specifically for this big screen. And I have to say, if you've been using an iPhone, uh, you're going to be a little bit challenged by the size. This is not just a little jump. This is a massive jump. Let me open Apple's mail program and show you. For instance, as you turn the phone on its side, uh, you're able to, uh, let's cancel out on this so you can see, you're able to uh, go from looking at a message full screen to looking at much more like a desktop or an iPad interface where a list of messages is on the left and the, and the message itself is on the right. This is great. Uh, and it's not just mail, it's throughout the uh, iPhone. Now, of course, Apple has uh, updated many of its programs to take advantage of this. Others have not. In fact, one negative you'll see on both phones immediately is Google and other applications have not been updated for the new screen resolutions. That means they're scaled. Apple does a good job with scaling. Nevertheless, it looks a little weird. The text is bigger than you probably would want it to be. I expect every company, though, will be quickly working to update their apps to work better. Uh, with iOS. All right, let me run through the pros and cons, and I have them right here. Uh, let me just task switch over to my sheet. It is, I would say, and this is totally subjective, the most beautiful smartphone ever made. I mean, if you take a look at it, you may disagree, but you can't disagree that it is absolutely gorgeous. The best cameras on a phone, it's not just me, uh, DxO and others have agreed. Crisp, brilliant, responsive touch screens. These are not unique. In fact, we think that the touch screen on the 6 Plus is the exact same part as on the One Plus One. It's certainly exactly the same size, has many of the same features, but it looks good. And Apple has always does a little bit extra to make their stuff just look a little bit better. You got to admire Apple's commitment to security and privacy, and that's something Apple is doing uh, with iOS 8 and across the board, and something they're going to have to do because, of course, if we start using these for electronic payments, for uh, recording health, we're going to care a lot about privacy and security on this phone. There's nobody better when it comes to privacy and security than Apple. And Apple has begun to really tout that as a feature. And, and I believe that that's something they should tout. I think it's something they do uh, particularly well. Um, so you get, you get that kind of uh, built in to all of the uh, iPhones. In fact, into many iOS 8 devices. But the hardware on this allows things uh, to be even more secure. The fingerprint solution works fabulous, better than Samsung's, better than anybody's. Uh, the Apple ecosystem itself is, is going to be an advantage as Apple Pay comes to the front as we see more HomeKit and HealthKit tools. That'll make for a better user experience. I like messages. I don't know if you've used messages. If most of your friends and family are in iOS, you'll love messages. It's easy to send now, not just text messages, but audio, pictures. It's really a very elegant solution. Works best when you're going iOS to iOS, however. And there are still issues moving back and forth from iOS to Android. If you're a Macintosh user, a computer user, you'll love the continuity and handoff features that will allow you to use your new iPhone to make phone calls on your desktop computer, to send messages from your desktop computer and respond to them. And I have to say, finally, we've got screen sizes that are comparable with the rest of the world. I like a big screen, and uh, I'm really glad to have a screen uh, with a little bit more real estate Although a funny thing happened to me on the way to the Apple store after I started playing with these, I, I really feel for most Apple users who are used to the smaller 4-inch screens or less, uh, the iPhone 6, the 4.7, is even this is going to feel a little big. This is the phone you should get. 4.7 inches is exactly the right size. I really thought I was going to want a bigger phone. And I am still drawn kind of inexorably towards the 4.7-inch phone. It just feels good in the hand. If you're already using an iPhone, this is this five and a half inch screen is going to be such a big jump. I'd recommend you at least strongly consider the iPhone six, and and not the iPhone six plus. And I think you were making a really good point on MacBreak Weekly that the six plus all it does is stretch your apps even larger. It's it, great for people with poor eyesight. Right, but <laughs> but it's not like you get to use that real estate except like, for the sideways mode. It's not like Android where right. the, no the app will refit right. and you'll maybe get an extra row of icons right. or, or an now, extra. That may change. I mean, people can make their apps, know, their apps will know which phone they're on and people may start taking advantage of the extra real estate. But for right now, it's just bigger. 
Mm -hmm. Not necessarily uh, better. More difficult to use, yeah. basically. And harder to use with one hand, of course. I don't use my phone with one hand. I'm used to using two hands now because of the big phones I've been using. But uh, one-handed uh, iPhone users, you know, stick with the uh, iPhone 6. You're not going to want to go to the Plus. The A8 processor, by the way, getting great results in benchmarks among the fastest processors uh, on the market today. The GPU also very good. And Apple's new Metal software, kind of DirectX for the iPhone, means games really sing on this. This is going to be a great platform, and that might be one reason to get the bigger phone. If you're a gamer, this, uh, this the 6 Plus will be a fantastic platform, as the I iPad has been up to now. However, there are some negatives. Everything, no, nobody's perfect in this world. Uh, it is a closed ecosystem. That's a pro and a con. The closed ecosystem means Apple controls it more tightly. They can ensure your privacy and security, but it means you can't do as many things as you want. And in many cases, Apple's kind of a nanny. Lots of pop-ups and warnings. You're being followed. There's location uh, turned on, stuff like that. Some people will be reassured by that. I found that a little bit annoying. It's not quite as flexible as the Android ecosystem. Um, and these are, I have to say, the most expensive phones on the planet, except for the Virtu diamond encrusted phones. For a stock uh, smartphone, uh, top of the line 6 Plus with 128 gigs of RAM, $949. Uh, that's more than most computers cost these days. It's a very expensive phone. Uh, and that will set some people uh, back on their heels a little bit, too. And finally, fewer customization uh, choices. Uh, really, uh, Apple's very clear that this is the screen you're going to see when you launch. There's no third-party launchers available. They've only recently added third-party keyboards. Basically, when you go with iPhone, when you go with any Apple product, it's Apple's way or the highway. You, you only get three different colors. You can get this slate gray back. There's a gold back, and there's a, a silver back. The front it can only be black or white, and the black only goes with space gray, the white with the other two options. It's kind of like Henry Ford, who said you can get a Model T in any color you want, as long as it's black. Uh, Apple really doesn't like to make a, a too many different kinds of phones. Uh, that will be the probably the final uh, negative, is they're, they're hard to get. Good luck finding them. Uh, that will ease up over time. But the success of Apple's uh, iPhone, uh, it really means you do have to end up, in many cases, waiting in line. Uh, waiting to get your phone. A lot of people who ordered online will be getting their phone around Thanksgiving time. Yeah, that's a long delay. And if you're in, you're in China, well, you're just going to have to send somebody to the States to get in line for you because they're not available in China yet. So pros and cons, there, they, there you have it. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm going to give the iPhone uh, 6 and 6 Plus a strong buy. These are Apple's catch-up products that make them a, a totally strong con competitor in the phone marketplace. They're not necessarily better in every respect than what's out there from Android and even Microsoft. Um, they are better in some respects, in many respects. Uh, re my recommendation if you're choosing a smartphone is to try them all and find the one that fits your needs best. Uh, but boy, if you're an iPhone user, uh, you're going to be very happy when that new iPhone comes uh, in the mail because uh, these things are gorgeous. They're beautiful. And again, consider the smaller one if you're not absolutely sure you can use that uh, five and a half inches of real estate.